And now, Fox 66 Sports with Jay Pushkar. Good evening. It was round two between Gannon and Edinburgh in men's and women's basketball. Let's head to the Macomb Fieldhouse for the nightcap in men's action. Golden Knights up five, middle of the first half of play. Deontay Cicero would pull up, knocking down the jumper. It made it a seven-point lead and a quick Edinburgh timeout. Cicero with 14 points on the night. Edinburgh getting back in this one. Anthony Allen drive, kicks out to Cambridge Springs. Grad Turner Kirk for the three. He had a team high 13 points. Gannon. Got their sharpshooters going as well. Matt Johnson finds Chris Clancy for the three-pointer. Clancy with 14 points. Second half now, Gannon up 12, less than 13 to go. General McLean grad, Alex J with the hoop down low to cut it to a 10-point deficit. Scotts got the lead down to six, but Gannon off and running. Matt Johnson finding Frank Webb Jr. for the alley-oop throw down Webb with 14 on the evening. Gannon runs away from Edinburgh on this one. They take it convincingly, 74-47 to at the McComb. I tell the guys all the time, when we play Gannon basketball, our brand of basketball, and we're playing as a team and we're defending, we're pretty good. Um, when we went on our run, we were defending, we were getting stops, and we were turning those stops and the easy baskets on the other end. Uh, we were just trying to like push the ball in transition, get stops, and like create the lead, spread the lead out. Oh, it, it felt amazing. <laughs> I haven't gotten up in a while, so that dunk felt crazy. Looked good, too. Mercyhurst's defense held Seton Hill to just 39 points as the Lakers go on to win it 68-39. to Micah McIntosh with 22 points for the 13-7 and seven Lakers. On the men's basketball scoreboard as well, Barron toppled Alfred State by the count of 76-58. to Devin Pope led all scorers with 24 points and 6 rebounds. Dorian Connors adding 17 points, 8 boards for the 14-6 and six lines.